Just before the break, you heard the founder of Blackwater, Eric Prince. Remember the time that his men rescued Joe Biden and John Kerry from Taliban-controlled Afghanistan. But the conversation was much deeper than that. For a brand new episode of Tucker Carlson today, Prince joined us on set and gave his perspective on what is happening in Afghanistan now, why it happened, and what it tells us about the leadership of this country. Here's part of the conversation. What effects does this have since, I mean, you've worked in a lot of different countries and likely still are. Um, what effect is this going to have on the rest of the world? I mean, there are pretty clear lessons from this, are there not? I, I think much more than, than, the, than the Democrats ever complaining about Trump damaging NATO, this will destroy what's, what's left of NATO because the U.S. has been so unilateral and so clueless that, I mean, for, for the president of the United States, to be rebuked in the House of Parliament, that's the first time it's ever happened. Um, so we have shattered the confidence of our European allies and every other ally around the world that America depends, whether you're a CIA agent trying to recruit somebody to work for you, or whether you're a country that wants to, that, that America wants you to compete with, you know, to side with us versus something that the Chinese want, it will, it will definitely figure into people's thinking how quickly America abandoned its friends in Afghanistan and left in such a horribly chaotic and clumsy manner. And so there are going to be permutations uh, in all sides that we haven't even thought of yet that come from this. Because, look, the dollar is the world's reserve currency. Correct. Why? Because it's underpinned by the, the notion of U.S. military strength. And what we're seeing unfold in Afghanistan over the last 20 years and over the, the last few weeks and, and next two weeks really does not show well. I, I, I'd called, you know, three years ago, let's prevent the helicopter off the rooftop moment in Saigon. And that's exactly what we got. So you mentioned our status as the holder of the world's reserve currency. So that is central to our economy as we... Central our economy because we, we deficit spend and we can keep doing that because we can just print more and more dollars when people don't regard the United States as the sole... Um, as the Pax Americana goes away right. and, and they don't have the confidence in the dollar, that has massive uh, triple-down implications to our, um, to our economy and to our way of life. No reserve currency collapse of American economy, total reset in our standard of living, completely different country. Suddenly we have to live in our, within our means. Yeah, right. So that's not, we're not capable of doing the that. The abolition of the welfare state. I mean, massive, massive changes. Yeah. Far greater convulsions than the Great Depression or any other um, civil unrest we've had in America. So I guess the bigger point you're making is that when the country in control of the world reveals itself as weak, the world becomes much more volatile. When it reveals that it's defeated by people using 70-year-old weapons that are living in a mindset of the sixth century, that uh, maybe that U.S. military is not quite as capable as they espouse themselves to be. Maybe as, as, the, as the cosplay people describe itself to be. You know, total informational awareness. I don't care how much surveillance you have. What does it do to the reality of the people on the ground? You just heard uh, the, <laughs> Lloyd Austin, the former defense contractor now running the Department of Defense that the real threat he would like to remind all of us is white supremacy in the United States. It sounds like maybe there's a shift having been defeated by the Taliban to the real enemy here at home. Do you worry about that? Well, I, I find it amazing how worried everyone in America is about COVID that the Taliban managed to conquer the entire country without wearing masks. And yeah. COVID didn't seem to, uh, to slow them down too much. I so again, I, I think, um, uh, let's worry about the, the, the big threats. And uh, yes, COVID can be taken seriously, but we don't need to shut down the economy. The, the, the American economy, the machine, people have to get back to work and back to school and to keep on living. Eric, Eric Prince, one of the most knowledgeable people in the world on the subject of Afghanistan. That full conversation is on foxnation.com. Tucker Carlson today. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.